I'm a really wet player, man. You never want to play my harmonicas. But, um, you notice anything about that? It's B flat. But, um, I'm playing third position. C harmonica, but I was really playing third position over all these different chords that are centered around B flat. And I really only played the same thing over and over and over. I mean, not even a lot of bends or overblows or anything. It's just, it's the way I'm phrasing it and it's the chords that are underneath that make it sound interesting, at least to my ears. So, it's, um, it's part of having good tone and the vibrato that really makes that, that kind of kicks this song out, you know? So, and a lot of it's the phrasing too. When you're playing over these one chord jams, you really gotta think about how you're gonna phrase this stuff and you gotta be loud, be soft, and be fast and slow and all that I'm not a super fast player. I do get these swells in my music. Kind of stuff so it's about creating textures and levels of sounds layers of sounds and give some some meat for these people to grab onto and to, you know eat so <laughs> it's a dumb analogy i know but um really i'm playing the same thing over and over it's just it's d minor i do add the b flat in there but it's mostly d minor that i'm playing and uh, what's cool about theory is like all these things they go together your d minor arpeggio is really part of the B flat major seven arpeggio. It's just a different version. So if you do it's a D major seven arpeggio. You're playing in B flat by playing it in third position. And so you can do your cross harp licks over this kind of stuff. You can do your third position licks over this stuff. And it's going to sound pretty cool as long as you know how to phrase. So think about using some dynamics and uh, playing with the rhythm. That's pretty important too. You'll notice a lot of things that I do, <clears throat> you know, in certain parts of the song where you, you kind of have the, the pedal going, this D minor pedal going. Um, let me show you. But I'm also keeping in mind the rhythm that's back there. It's all part of that phrasing. So I'm adding this, the rhythm of the, the, the groove, all the stuff into my phrasing, all over third position. It's really just one chord. I'm not really changing around a lot. It's the music underneath that's changing. And so the next video we're gonna do, we're gonna play kind of a jazzy blues in B flat where it's really centered around B flat and we're gonna change to E flat and do some of those kind of things too. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope it makes some sense to you. But um, next time you're doing this, tell your band to kick out some B flat, play your third position licks over it, see how it goes for you. Enjoy. <laughs>